So I'm just starting tonight's dinner and we are having a healthy version of a katsu chicken curry kind of thing. So in here I've got some beaten egg to dip my chicken breast. Then in here we've got some panko breadcrumbs, some crushed chilies, some garlic granules, a tiny bit of salt and also some smoked paprika. And I'm just going to dip my chicken in here, then in here. And then I've lined my air fryer basket with some foil and I've sprayed it with some spray oil. And I'm going to put my chicken breast in there and then I'll show you the rest as I go along. So I've just put some frozen garlic in the pan and I've just let it warm through slightly and now I'm going to pop in my monge too. So I'm just going to stir those through and then I'm going to add a little splash of water once they've browned and then I'm going to turn them off and just leave the lid on while everything else is cooking. I've got some cauliflower rice, cauliflower rice in there which I'm just going to like, kind of boil and um, probably add some seasonings. I'm going to add a bit of salt and pepper into this one and then I will make up our curry sauce. So the green beans have started to brown, the garlic is nice and fragrant so I'm just going to add a splash of water and then I'm going to put the lid on my pan and I'm actually going to turn it off while my chicken cooks and I make up my curry sauce. So excuse the noise of the air fryer, this is the katsu curry sauce mix we're using. It is one of the yo sushi ones so I've just popped it in a jug and then I'm going to add some boiling water and mix it up. So it's apparently it's supposed to take about 200 ml. I'm just going to give that a whisk. So here we are dished up, we've got our cauliflower rice with our chicken on top, I've poured over the katsu curry and we've got our garlic munch too and here is our healthy chicken katsu curry. So for tonight's dinner we have got smoked mackerel with some king prawns, some salad and some crushed new potatoes, I've got some feta cheese on here to use it up and it's just basically a bit of a use up dinner, Oscar really wanted smoked mackerel so we had some prawns out that I needed to put with something and yeah, it's a bit of a strange combination but this is what we fancy so this is what we are having for our dinner tonight. So for dinner tonight we are having chilli and my little helper is actually making it for us so Oscar has done all of it so far, chopped the onion, he's cooked the mince, cooked the tomatoes, he's now putting his kidney beans in and he's going to give it a mix. So we've got two lots of lean mince because we're making an extra like big one because we want to use the rest for chilli dogs. So two packets of 400 gram mince, two tins of tomatoes, two tins of kidney beans. We're going to use two packets of the Coleman's chilli stuff. And we're also going to add maybe a teaspoon of hot chilli powder, aren't we, just to give it a little bit of a kick. We're going to serve it with rice tonight and then tomorrow night we're going to do sausages in baguettes and then put chilli over the top, some melted cheese and that'll be a nice Friday night dinner. So it's really nice not having to cook for a change. So here we are served up and I'm really proud of Oscar, he did really well, he added everything in and kept an eye on it when I disappeared and everything so this is what we've got for dinner tonight, chilli con carne and rice cooked by my 11 year old boy. So I'm making some chilli dogs and I've cut the rolls before I put them in the oven because normally I put them in the oven, when they come out I cut them and they split so if you put a slit in them before you put them in they actually open up which is hopefully a better way of doing it. Now I'm going to spoon some chilli in the first because otherwise I feel like they're harder to eat. Not that we're eating them anyway but the boys are. So I'm going to put the chilli in, then I'm going to put two hot dog sausages or two sausages on top and then I'm going to put some cheese and put them back in the oven. It's still going to be a mess isn't it? Too? Yeah I think they're going to be good though. I think it might be um, slightly easier. Oh where? Uh, because this way the sausages sit on top of the chilli, doesn't it? So instead of it all going. That's still going to go. No. no. Just try not to split them open because that's very frustrating. <laughs> there is no pretty way to do chilli dogs, really. But they taste good, whatever yeah. way you do. Yeah. And they're not quite cooked, but they are going back in the oven. So if I nestle them into the. I've got an overhead cameraman today, this is unusual. Mm -hmm. You can stay. So I'm in 
think I'll put a little bit, maybe let that melt, and then maybe I'll pop a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. Melt it, uh, stick it all together, and then sprinkle some on top. Fryer's in the air fryer. There we have we've got our chili dogs out of the oven, and I have to say, these are making me consider starting my own business. <laughs> Selling chili dogs at Christmas fairs, I've just decided. <laughs> I'm going to buy a food truck, which is what I've always wanted, and I'm going to go into business. These just look really nice. I think I'm just really hungry. They look amazing. Yeah, we're really more. hungry. We're Men trying to be really healthy. Um, this is just a treat for Friday night. The boys obviously don't always eat stuff like this but friday night we're gonna go and watch a movie steve and i have got steak and carrot chips i know they're not gonna make it to the plate no, they're no, gonna, no. You'll go, oh, they need to cool on. down but yeah there we go there's our chili dogs i will show you them plated up they've also got fries and some sweet chili coleslaw so they won't go hungry all right so here is it sort of not plated up boarded up we've got our sweet chili coleslaw which i think i got in sainsbury's yeah i did and then we've got some we've got our chili dogs and some crispy McCain's fries and this is what the boys have got tonight but whether they get it or not. So for dinner tonight we are having steak and salad and some roasted, I always say that, it's not roasted, they're air fried carrots and air fried peppers. They've been in for a really long time. I think I'll put them in for about half an hour and they're still not quite crispy if you know what I mean but they've taken a really long time tonight. For the steak I marinated in some chipotle seasoning with some lime juice it's been in the sandwich bag for a good few hours and I've cooked it on our grill. Then we've got some natural yogurt, some sriracha and some sweet chilli, loads of different sauces, pickled onions there's all sorts in there and steak on top. This is what we have got for our dinner tonight. I'm just starting tonight's dinner and I've got some chicken breast in a pan. I've got some bacon I needed to use up so I've chopped that up and popped it in as well. I've put some chopped garlic in here and some onion granules and I'm going to make a pasta dish. So I've got a tin of cream of chicken condensed soup and I'm also going to pop in one chicken stock pot and I think I'm going to put some peas in here and I'm just going to serve it over pasta and maybe put a little bit of grated cheese over the top maybe a little bit of milk or pasta water if the sauce is too thick once I've added my soup and my stock pot. So I've just popped in at my stock pot and my soup. I'm just going to give it a good mix and then I'm going to add some frozen peas at the last minute once my pasta is cooked and like I said, depending on how thick it is, either a little bit of oat milk, just because we don't have dairy milk anymore, we only have oat milk because that's what we prefer um, but if I don't put milk I'll just use a bit of the pasta water because the starch in that helps it not be too runny but it does add a little bit of like liquid I'm gonna mix this up now so I don't have any frozen peas but I've got frozen broccoli instead so I've just popped some of that in okay here we are served up we've got some rigatoni and also some little bow pasta because I just had two left to use up. Got our broccoli, bacon, chicken, a really nice sauce, it's come out really well, and that is what we're gonna have for dinner tonight, and I'm gonna put some black pepper on top. So for dinner tonight, we have got another salad, but tonight we have got some chili and lime pork loin steaks. I've just done them on the grill, they literally took a couple of minutes. We've got roasted carrots, red onion, we've got some lettuce, some chilies, some cucumber, some marvelous tomatoes, I think they were called, we got them in Lidl and our pork loin steaks on the top and this is what we're having for our dinner tonight so for tonight's dinner we've got a bit of a random one um a bit of a use up so we've got some melt in the middle burgers this is for one of the boys and i've just done some ketchup and light mayo in the bun and it's got cheese in the middle of the burger we've got some of the caribbean rice and peas the tilda one which is quite spicy but really nice and then there's two hash browns and a corn on the cob which i've also popped on the grill so this is what the boys are having tonight and we've all got a variation of this did you make it did you break free did you manage to be who you want to be maybe somewhere you think about me too